so you finally found the perfect product combo and technique to achieve the best twist out. But the one thing you're missing is how to keep that perfect twist out intact for as long as possible. What you need to preserve your twist is very simple. It's called the banding method and here's how you do it. First, you want to grab your supplies. You're going to need a bunch of satin scrunchies and either a bonnet or a scarf. Next, you want to take large sections of your hair and very gently separate and bind them together with the satin scrunchies. Now you're going to want to find the places where your hair naturally separates because you want to be very careful not to disturb the definition in your hair. Too much manipulation, too much touching and pulling will make your hair frizzy, so you want to be very careful as we section your hair off. Now the longer your hair, the more scrunchies you might need in each section. You want to bind it down the length of your hair. Now this method also stretches your hair, which is nice. It gives you more length, helps to prevent a lot of the shrinkage that could happen overnight and throughout the lifespan of your twist out. Now I try to make my sections as large as possible because I do like a lot more volume than I do definition. And also you want to keep the banding in the same direction as where you want your part to be and your hair to lay. So if you have a middle part, keep your banding, you keep that middle part intact. If you have a side part, keep that side part intact and make sure your hair is facing in the direction that you want it to lay. Now once you've completed your entire head, go ahead and put your bonnet or scarf on. Now put it on carefully, make sure it's laying down, you don't have any parts sticking up where you don't want it to be. Now bonnet is perfect for shorter hair, but I found that as my hair has grown, I need more of a scarf so that my hair doesn't scrunch up at the bottom. So it doesn't give me a little farquad bob, I want my hair laying flat. So I've now had to switch to a scarf, which keeps my hair laying down and not sticking up or scrunching up. And that's it. You can sleep freely, comfortably. You don't have to worry about sleeping sitting up. You can lay comfortably. The next day, gently take out the each scrunchie. You still want to be very careful because we want to make sure we're not touching or manipulating our hair too much. Now what I do is I pull the scrunchies apart. I don't try I try to keep my hands off of my actual hair and I just let it unwind so that I can handle my hair as little as possible. You can see it kind of twisting out of the scrunchie. And that is it. It's so simple. Use this method for twist outs that last. And try it out and tell me how it works out for you. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.